Spider-Man is one of my favorite heroes. From humble beginnings and amazing scenes, I absolutely love this hero, specifically Tobey Maguire's iteration of Spider-Man. <laughs> but there was always one part of these movies that annoyed the core out of me. It's a very integral part because it's also a very important part of Peter's life. <laughs> Mary Jane. I seriously cannot be the only person who cannot stand this wench. It hurts my heart to the core when I see a superhero sacrificing everything to win the love of somebody who doesn't appreciate him. And there's something so icky about it, but it's also relatable because how many in the world that fall for people like this so much to the point where when that girl actually emotionally destroys them and their reputation, they become the canon event to the guy's villain origin story. You you she seems kind to Peter in the beginning, but for the majority of the trilogy, she's insufferable, inconsiderate, and quite frankly, a thought. She was already giving eyes to Peter when she was with Flash, and to Harry when she was with Flash. Hey, you. Yeah. Blue eyes. Be gone! Everybody looks at it as being funny because of how much Flash used to bully Peter, but it doesn't change the fact every single relationship she's been in during the runtime of the Sam Raimi trilogy of Spider-Man movies, Mary Jane Watson has never been faithful. She's always had a wandering eye. She cheated on Harry with Peter. She cheated on Peter with Harry. She cheated on everyone with Spider-Man. She constantly leads Peter on, rejects him, and manipulates him, and as a matter of fact, she does this with everyone she's with. She cheats on her fiance with Peter, while she likes Peter, she's kissing Spider-Man, not knowing it's Peter, then kisses her fiance while thinking about Spider-Man while still liking Peter. And don't get me wrong, Peter is probably to blame for this too because he knows at every turn that she's with somebody and still tries to smash. Knowing that she's with people from the beginning, she had a boyfriend while he was pining after her. Like if you see a girl giving you the eyes while she's with another guy, why would you want her? I mean, pass a fun fling. I don't know, if I see a guy has a girlfriend, it's instant turn off for me. Especially if that guy is flirting with me while he has a girlfriend. The only thing I'm thinking of in my mind is he's a piece of shit, and even if I were to get this guy, he would do the same thing to me with somebody else. It's very unattractive, and at this point, I know there's a lot of people like me that would just bolt out of there with no feelings of temptation whatsoever. Even if there were a situation where I was closed in because I've been cheated on, the only thing I can think of and remember is the heartbreak of someone that you think is faithful to you and loves you disrespecting you like that. But you got Mary Jane over here who's supposed to be the main character that everybody likes flying around this galaxy, kissing one man at a time, breaking hearts, three birds with one rock, I mean rock with one stone. You know what I mean? She also has this habit of using other people to make the person she cares about jealous all the time. It's just agreed to marry me. When you kissed her, who was kissing her? Spider-Man? Or Peter. I don't want to hear it because while you still liked Peter and was with somebody else, you were kissing Spider-Man not knowing that he was Peter Parker. And instead of working on a problem or just straight up breaking up with someone that she has an issue with, just jumps on the next day. Then the guy she agrees to marry, who's a stand-up guy by the way, aside from the mess that she did with him, she flat out waits till the wedding day to leave him standing at the altar completely embarrassed and heartbroken. Tell her not to open the caviar. You can tell how hurt Omni-Man is. He probably knew that girl was trouble, but he's like, you know what, my son, I love him, but it doesn't hurt any less seeing his heart get broken like this, even though I knew that was gonna happen. Look, even his nose mouth face is angry. <laughs> Look how free she looks like she feels while everyone is saying that she's a piece of shit. You had all the time in the world to tell him and you knew that you had feelings for someone else the entire time but you wanted to do a gotcha. Since he won't marry me, I guess I'll do it for someone else to prove a point. What are you doing? Then later on, this woman has a nerve to get jealous of her boyfriend because she lost her job and he's literally out there saving people's lives and people are being grateful to him for it. The guy who was the underdog, who was invisible to everyone, who never had anything in his life. Granted, Peter gets a little cocky later on, but all that manipulative and toxic behavior comes before that. And understandably, Peter's not off the hook for this either. He had Ursula, who I thought was freaking hot and was like the sweetest thing ever and liked him for who he was. And then he had freaking Gwen and Stacy and canned both those women for this, the woman who jumps between best friends. And yes, clearly it's not just me. Oh, I can't see Mary Jane and Peter living happily ever after because 
if prior to their relationship and during their relationship she's been nothing but toxic, manipulative, and just a complete mess of a person, what makes you think she's gonna be a stand-up wife? We're to believe that Peter and Mary Jane are still together in a healthy, happy relationship in the Spider-Man No Way Home movie. But what does that entail? Peter was pining for this toxic individual way before and thought this was completely normal. So I'm quite interested to see what that must mean to him. And I know superhero life in and of itself is grueling, but dude looks rough and depressed. Could be PTSD, but for movie dramatics, it sure doesn't feel like somebody who has a love of his life waiting back home for him. If anything, I guess Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man can be relatable to a lot of people because it goes to show you that in reality, there are a lot of heroes and decent people out there who end up with shitheads. Makes me believe that the only reason Peter fell in love with MJ is that she lived next next door, she needed saving, had daddy issues, while Peter had no daddy and was popular and kind to him. None of these things seemed enough to qualify her as a lifetime partner, especially when she's already been fooling around with your best friend, especially when you consider that she and your best friend had history together as well. And despite the fact that Harry is unfortunately dead now, what's to stop Mary Jane from going on a date with another astronaut or banjo player just because Peter did something to upset her? She is one of the most annoying characters, and the fact that she plays a damsel in distress while she cannot do anything for herself and then only replace the characters who were the nicest to her with nothing but her broken toxicity makes her even worse. I'm not saying that you should never have damsel characters, but they have to, at the very least, be likable. Ugh. And Mary Jane is anything but likable. I remember watching the old Spider-Man movies many years ago, and when Gwen came onto the scene, I really wanted Peter to be with her. But then I decided, you know what? She's actually too good for him. But then again, that's his choice. Despite showing her true colors, Peter Parker keeps choosing Mary Jane over and over again. I'm curious to know if anybody feels the same way. I mean, she's the girl who survives the series, but the other Peter Parker in The Amazing Spider-Man has someone even better. <laughs> Damn. And she ends up breaking her head open while he's trying to save her, while Senorita Diablo over here ends up with her happily ever after. The world is weird. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer.